Right then, so we're back in Gold Rush. Thanks for the uh, for the views and for the likes of the last video. Wasn't expecting to get the 10. This one I thought would go through the tier 2 stuff because it's a hell of a lot more interesting. You get diggers and shit. So this is where we left off. We had 52 grand from our nugget, baby. So we were going to go to the shop and I left the back open or what? So we're going to go to the shop and get all of our tier 2 stuff. And if you don't know what tier 2 is, have a look in the old uh, journal. Which you can get to by pressing tab. Journal up here. And uh, tier 1, so you press the little thing down here. So tier 2, we're going to need mobile wash plants, small pumps, mobile generators, cables, hoses, 3 buckets, magnetite separator, excavator and a mobile wash plant. So yeah, I'm going to go into the shop and buy all this. We need one of these, which is the wash plant. All of our dirt will come through here, separate the dirt from the gold. We need, not one of them. We need a magnetite separator, so that will split up the very fine stuff that isn't gold from stuff that is. Yes, yeah, so if you can, buy the wave table, because you don't want to be panning by hand anymore, because it's going to take a long ass time. So you want a water pump. You're going to want two of them, although, Interesting. So when I last did this, you needed a water pump, and then there wasn't anything like this to connect your hose. So you get a certain length, and you couldn't extend your hose without putting another pump in the chain. So I worked out you needed two pumps to get from the river to your pay. However, now we've got that, that will save you a shit ton of money. Anyway, buy water pumps. Buy your cables, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, so you'll need a generator to power all of those things over there. Yeah, all three need power. So you're going to need a big hose, a little hose, some fat ropes, some thin ropes. Don't worry about the extenders for them. You're going to need jerry cans, I'll tell you that now. Don't forget jerry cans. To connect your water to the river, you will need a water filter, otherwise it won't work. So grab one of them. So anyway, I will make a start buying all this stuff and I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I've bought everything I need from the shop and I've got 30 grand left. So things are looking good. And uh, I just want to do a slow reveal of my truck just because I wanted to prove to you that you can fit it all in one truck. So, uh, oh! So yeah, it does all fit in one truck. Uh, whether we'll make it there, I'm not too sure. Um, I got to a point where I couldn't fit any more jerry cans in. So what I found is, you can actually shove stuff on the front. And it actually sits there pretty well. Like you'd think it would fall off as soon as you go around a bend, but the physics don't seem to work like that. So um, if you run out of space there, use the front. So yeah, all I need to do now is hook up my mobile wash plant. And... Uh, take all this stuff to... Ooh, actually no, I don't. So I need to hook up this mobile wash plant, and then before I go back to my claim, I've got two pretty important jobs to do. Why isn't this reversing? Thanks for the camera help there, game. So reversing in this, to hook up a trailer, if you keep an eye down there on the tow bar, so as you reverse in, you'll see it's red, it's red, it's red. As I get closer, it will go yellow. So as soon as it goes yellow, hit space. Handbrake. Because when it's yellow, that means you can hook it up, baby. So you want to look at that bit, press use, and shove it on. So we're connected up. So first job, before we go back to the claim, we need to get some fuel. We've got to fill those jerry cans, because we're going to need a lot of fuel for all of our pumps and generators. Over here is a petrol station. Or the gas station, should I say. Just turn off your engine, don't want to cause a fire. So, this took me quite a while, although that's pretty freaking obvious, isn't it? I spent like 10 minutes, like, walking up to this, like, ooh, ooh, and I realized, you can't get fuel out of that one, it's this one only. Luckily, I did put my Peasel can on the top. Ah, oh, fuck. Grab your fuel nozzle, shove it on the end, and just choose how much you want to buy. So fill up to the top. 
refuel, sort it. Uh, you can do the other ones, they don't even have to be upright, so fill that one on its side, refuel, sort it. Let's fill them all up, put it back, and we are good to go. Shove you in the front, because why the hell not? So yeah, you notice that looks like it's going to fall off. That one probably will fall off. But as we drive, it'll be fine. And this one, it's not like the shops. You don't have to go check out or anything. Once it's done, it's done. So yeah, we'll head back to the claim and uh, start setting all this stuff up. No, 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 we won't. I've just remembered. Before we go back to the claim, we want to buy our excavator. Otherwise, we're going to be digging with a shovel. So we'll head to the excavator place, which, if you remember, is just down here on the right. Fuck me, what have I done? So yeah, we'll head in here. There's been a lot of stuff unlocked since I last played. This is awesome. Okay, so head over to here. Unfortunately, we can't afford this one because this is the big excavator. So we're just going to have to go for this little piddly one. But it's 28 grand. So with our 30 grand left, we got plenty of money to buy and get it delivered because you've got to pay for that. No Amazon Prime here. So yeah, add that to your basket. Head over to this building, which is loading. So you got to check out first. So yes, I want to buy that. Thank you. Yes. So it's been transported to the nearest storage space, which is... I don't know, it probably doesn't exist, whatever. So we want to go in this one, transport. And we'll say, from the storage space, we want to shove it. Oh no, you're just clicking it. Eh? Okay. Click on it, press button in the middle, and then it's in your old Arnold parcel. So confirm. And now it's been delivered. Fucking hell, look at that. How is this working? Anyway. Oh no, my fuel cans. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Is that one? I completely did not see that happen. Oh. Hey, it's called diesel on one side. Oh, I literally thought they weren't allowed to call it diesel, so they called it peasel. Huh. So yeah, I'll collect these up and probably shove them in the back again. Ugh, idiot. Okay, well, I'll see you back at the claim. Right, so I'm back at the claim, and I'm going to set my stuff up over here, because that is all the dirt that we're going to be digging. All of it. All of it. Um, so we'll do we'll empty all our trailer, set the mobile wash plant up, and then we'll hook up to the water, which is going to be where our old stuff was set up, over here, if you didn't watch the first video. So we'll shove the hose in there, connect it all up. So I'll get everything out of the truck, and then we'll have a look at it. Right, so we are looking like a proper, proper mining thing. Yeah. I've already set it up, because it's a bit of a ball lake, to be honest. And I thought it'd be easier to show you once it's set up, than talk you through as I'm doing it. So, from the start, We've got your magnetite separator just set up on its own, and all it needs is power. So just remember that for now, we won't worry about where the power's from. We've also got the wavetable, which I haven't got a power lead for, because what I'm going to do is when I need to, swap the cable from here into there. So just make sure you set that, um, them up next to each other. Um, and then the same with the water, so it's a small hose from the back of there. To your water and then the wave table uses the same so I'll just take them out plug them in because you can't really use those two at the same time so that's good that's those two things that needs two buckets remember that buckets so to get power and water power is easy it's literally just generator fill it with fuel sorted so it's got a big power thing coming out and that goes to your wash plant it's got a small one coming out and that goes to a magnetite separator which will swap over as we said so that's all good. For the water, it's a bit more difficult. So I've got a pump here, and it's got two small hoses coming out. So one's there, and one's there. One goes to our magnetite separator, which we spoke about, and then the other one goes to the wash plant. So over at the mobile wash plant, we've got round the back, power in there, which is a fat one, and small hose in there, and then a bucket to collect your pay dirt. So, from the pump, 
that goes that way. And I'll, I'll go over there in a second. First, I just want to show you filling up fuel. So, if you grab one of your diesel cans, you can press that. You can see it fills up. you got to make sure you grab it. Because otherwise it spills everywhere. So when it's 100%, make sure you grab it. With the generator, it's a little bit different. So, you do that, you're like, Oh, it's not working. Oh, they fixed it. Okay, when I last did that, nothing would happen. And it took me quite a while. You've got to open your flap first. But it seems they've got rid of that, and it does it automatically. Thank you, developers. And also, now, they didn't used to have this, but you see there, there is like a red bar halfway up. That's actually how much fuel is left in your canister. So if I drop that one, which is half full, and pick up that one, that one's full, which is very handy. I like that. So what we're going to do, so this is a fat hose pipe coming out of there. It's a fat hose pipe. So we're going to follow this. And I spoke about earlier when we were in the shop, there wasn't a way to connect the two fat pipes. So this is how we used to do it. We used to have to use another pump, which we used to have to refuel, which wasn't ideal because you're using twice the fuel and all that jazz. The jazz. But yeah, so you've got the connector, you don't need that pump there now. But anyway, I just thought I'd show how it was done. So these are clearly labelled in and out. So in is where the water comes from, which is our river. Out goes the other pump, and then the same up there. So if we follow this... The Hogpan dig site, they added a sign, awesome. So that's in the river, and it's got a water filter on the end. So this is all sorted now. That will provide water to there. So I'm going to leave the fuel tank next to it so I can just come over and fill it up when I need. So to start this, on this side, a little pool start. So pull that. So yeah, she's up and running. So green means there's water connected. So you can see there's water connected to this, but there's not water connected to that or that. And that's because I haven't turned this pump on. So if I give that a yank, should see that's now green water in there and that is now green water in there so that's good now i just need power to that and power to that so all i need to do is go up to the generator and this one's different it doesn't have a pull cord it has a button hit the switch generators on we've got power in there you can see it's all running so it's got a stop button if you want Oh, it's already stopped. It's just water running. It's got a start button. So yeah, that's all that sorted. Come over to your wash plant, round the back, and there's a button next to the power switch. Oh, baby, it is rolling. So we got, apparently we got dirt in there already. I don't know about that. So yeah, now we are ready to mine some gold. See you next time.